Hi everyone, I am the Sarcastic Sloth, and welcome to my channel. So, Tatty dropped a bombshell, didn't she? My god, another 40 minutes. Whoo! It's been crazy, man. This week, just one thing after another with the Shane Dawson, with the Jenna Marbles, with the Blair White. Absolutely relentless, and all the while, all this week, we've had this video from Tatty under the surface somewhat. You know, will it come out? Won't it come out? Oh, this is a lyric video. At one point, I even gave up. I said, listen, I don't see why she would even bother coming out with a video at this point because why, why would you want to dredge it all back up again why would you want to uh invite dramageddon back into your life it seems like everyone else is copying it so why would you need to well boy was i wrong <laughs> that's all i'll say on that i'm gonna just basically go through what i feel are the salient points much like i did with my shane dawson video let's crack on what I will say is, everything I am talking about is my own opinion, they're just my thoughts on the situation, what I've seen from the video, so if you don't like it, then... The first point of note I noticed really was that she apologised to James Charles straight off the back and also Jackie Ina. In fact, she'd actually said that she hung out with James Charles previously. I think it was in December that she said, and that is when things started clicking on because obviously she was able to take the notes that she already had from the situation from Drama Again 2, notes from James Charles, and then obviously what they'd also heard and also discussed with other moguls of the industry. So it was a pretty wild thing to have her first video with which was basically not anti-James Charles, but shining him in a particularly non-flattering light, shall we say. Very non-flattering light. And then this one, she's basically saying she's all for James Charles and apologised to his face previously, but then also wanted to do so in public as well. So I thought that was uh, pretty commendable, quite frankly. She was also apologising because she felt that she was put under a lot of pressure and allowed that pressure, um, what I would call it relentless pressure from what she was describing, from Jeffrey Star. A lot of whispering in the ear of, you know, James Charles is bad, I don't like James Charles, he's getting too big for his boots, X, Y, and Z. And then all of a sudden it gets to a point where he's starting to tell you dark rumours about him, because that's what they are. Let's, uh, let's just say, say this straight off the bat in terms... James Charles is not an innocent character in terms of his controversies, but I've not seen any evidence to suggest that he was a much darker individual than that. I found that quite a calculated thing from Jeffree Star from his point, because Tati did say as well that she was... She put it all down originally to his, um, his slagging off of James Charles, down to the fact that here you've got this person who's younger, who's more successful, and, you know, it was probably doing Jeffrey's head in a bit. In that particular industry where youth and looks and all of these things are held above all, really, um, for the most part, I can see that. I can see that being the case. I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's there's nothing worse than having some young upstart come along and make you look bad for, you know, not being able to achieve what they have at such a young age. Do you see where I'm coming from? But I would say that in this particular instance, that he was very much a sort of a worm tongue, chipping slowly away with the James Charles is this, James Charles is that, ooh, have you heard this? My god, this is dark, you might want to hear this, oh, you're, this will change your opinion. And then when James Charles's ego got a bit more rampant, which by all accounts and his own, uh, from his own words that was pretty much the case, so when Jeffrey comes along and tells Tati, hey, by the way, he's responsible for these dark activities and by the way I have proof too and then on top of that James Charles this coincided around the time where he had that sugar bear pill incident you know the the, the vitamin pills sugar bear are in direct competition with Tati I could see that being a final straw to her I really can so whether or not I would make a 40 minute video as opposed to trying to talk to the person one-on-one -on -one, I don't think I would but <laughs> but things are done differently in that particular industry, I'm aware of that. It makes sense as well why immediately after Tati's video, he just jumped on James Charles straight away, called him this, called him that, danger to society. It just tots up a lot, really. So with what Tati's saying and what was seen um, by the public, it makes a lot of sense in my mind. I found it very shady that Shane wanted so much involvement with her actual video as well, like wanted to do the thumbnail, wanted to do the editing, wanted to, you know, there was something else that he wanted to do too. All of this like sort of emotional, in my opinion, emotional manipulation of I'm an empath and says something about her being, you know, an angel sent down for the good of the world or something like that. I can't remember the specific quote now. At that point in time, with the feelings that she was feeling, they were 
things that she needed to hear to sort of validate how she was feeling and then go on to make this video you know the famous tatty video of last year but then also in similar shady shane fashion once it was all said and done he didn't speak to her at all afterwards apart from like a voice message in regards to the trailer and the uh, actual use of Dramageddon in his uh, documentary series on the beauty industry. She didn't want it involved and he said don't worry about it basically. So he got what he wanted and he legged it. I wasn't a fan before like if you didn't get that from my Shane Dawson video previously then <laughs> Maybe you should go and watch it. There is a point that I'm actually going to put in now, which is I feel like he is very jealous of James Charles. I think him and Jeffrey were in their little bitchy ivory tower and they just felt like they could dig at James one more time after all of this came to pass, really, with Dramageddon 2. I just think it's a bit out of order, especially given the age that James is. It's not then someone else's job to bring you down through a series of horrible events in terms of accusations. And these are people who are significantly older. And all you have to think about is, would you be cool if someone in their mid to late 30s did that to you? instead of taking you aside and speaking to you one-on-one -on -one and like really trying to impress upon you because if you were friends you would be able to have that discussion wouldn't you but instead this was a point this was all a point to be made that we're the big dogs don't mess with us we know how to basically wreck your image at will that's what that's the impression i get anyway which i find disgusting i do think shane is um fully jealous of him absolutely i predicted that this was all down to the fact that both him and jeffrey were jealous of james at no point am i ever saying that james is a completely innocent character i don't i don't know him i don't like you know it's just, i can't i can't vouch for that but i have not seen anything in terms of this voice message as well, right? So Tati mentioned something about this um, voice memo that I found really interesting, which was it was only like a segment of a conversation. So either this was taken against this person's will, because who, who, how do I say this now? Who would say to Jeffree Star, no less, yeah, I don't mind you recording me telling you about something that is very dark and very personal to me and very upsetting it do that doesn't compute to me well let me just I i'll put it this way right so in terms of the voice memo for me right if i'm to believe jeffree star shane dawson and blair white their credit is not good with me I'm telling you that right here and now. Their credit is not good with me. Those are not people I trust. And with Blair, Blair, Blair White, that's a video in itself, really. I was going to do a video on her video yesterday, but I just didn't have the minerals in me. I just didn't. It was just, it was too much. Following this stuff all week, and I was like, you know what? I need to play some Destiny 2. I think that maybe she was misguided enough to think that she was doing that video and it was a big F you to Jeffrey. But quite honestly, she played exactly into his hands. Here's the thing, right? She might just be gullible. She might just be gullible for, for that kind of thing. I don't know. And and then who's to say as well? One thing I also thought of it, but if we're dealing with the master of conspiracies, we're going to put our conspiracy hat on. You can see I've got mine on already. Shane Dawson loves conspiracies. We know this. He studied conspiracies. He knows a lot about conspiracies to the point where he projected his conspiracies onto Chuck E. Cheese, for Christ's sake. With Jeffrey's malice, Shane's jealousy, and love of conspiracies and being able to see a conspiracy in everything. I find it hard to believe, basically, that they didn't have the involvement that Tati's saying that she did. Because I can see it. I mean, like I said, I, I actually did say previously as well. It aligns with my way of thinking on the whole su subject, and that was before this all came out. But what I will say is, if I were to put my conspiracy hat on again, isn't it interesting how this voice memo gets played to people who have been victims of that brand of assault? Do you see what I'm saying? That's just if I'm putting my conspiracy hat on i'm not saying that that's the case or whether or not like i say these are all my opinions but that's just a thought that i had i thought that was pretty interesting and then i never you know if we go down the conspiracy road jeffrey saw that tatty was never ever going to just take his entire word on things given his past and even though she wanted him to change she always knew she described him that he would, would still be like a lion in those 
instances if you crossed him. So, you know, maybe she, he always sensed that there was a bit of holdback from Tati, even though they did have a working relationship and, you know, would FaceTime and whatnot, but they wouldn't spend enough time at each other's houses, as Tati stated. Then you've got Shane, who is everyone's favourite little empath, who comes along and has the big puppy eyes and tells her these things, as in, you know, you you, you know, you need to say these things. You're the person who's coming to come down and, and help the world, you know, and just basically told her what she needed to hear at that point in time to then come out with this, um, or her version of a assassination piece on James. These are just thoughts that are, like, rolling around in my head. Whether they're true or not, I don't know, but, like, I just find that all pretty convenient myself. It's just... Here's Jeffrey, he's the puppet master, and then he's got his little marionette here, Shane. Shane is uh, just as jealous of James as Jeffrey. Makes sense. And then with Tati, I mean, you know, I'm not going to pretend that, like, she wasn't jealous of James's ascension either, because, you know, you'd have to be at that point as well. I don't sense an evil. I didn't sense that in her first video, quite honestly. It would just seem like she was just... It, it seemed like she made that video under some pretty poor advisement as well. That was the thing. When I first saw that particular, you know, her first by sister video, it just seemed a bit... Why, why would you do that sort of thing? Who's put this out there? It's, I don't know. Like I say, these are just my thoughts. But do I think anyone is innocent in all of this? No, definitely not. Definitely not. I don't think anyone is innocent in all of this, for sure. To what extent or to what degrees, I don't know. One thing I also thought was pretty interesting as well, mind, was when um, Tati was saying... She went off script. Let me actually get because she says that she thinks that Jeffrey is going to go off. You know that sounds like Jeffrey, doesn't it? So I, I can see that this is all going to get a lot messier before it gets better. I'll put it that way. But he, he was going to go off in response to her video and advises the beauty community to be prepared for this, and we should forgive those and. Uh, the secrets he has um, on those various people. It depends. It depends on what the secret is. It's a l That's a little bit like when a kid comes in, um, like say if I was a dad, and my kid came in and goes, Dad, Dad, you know, I've got to tell you something, but just don't get mad. It'd be like, well, it depends really. If you've taken the last yogurt from the fridge, then yeah, I won't get mad. It's annoying, but whatever. If you're going to tell me you crashed my car, then... I'm gonna get mad, do you know what I mean? So it depends on what these secrets actually are. You, you can't just be like, yeah, don't get angry at every single person, because what, what if something else comes, what if like some actual stuff that comes out that is like fully dark and there is evidence to back it up comes out? I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna just forgive everyone. It's One, it's horrible to have anyone hold anything over you, I get that. But it depends on what that is. If so, it comes out that someone's a murderer, I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, it's... But, but you, you had that held over your head, so, oh, you know, it's... Yeah, that doesn't make sense in my world, I'm afraid. I think, basically, maybe what she was trying to say in that was don't go off without evidence, because you need to see the evidence. If he just comes out with a list of, like, so-and-so's done this, so-and-so's done this, so-and-so's done this, so-and-so's done this, then, yeah, it's like, well, it's just a list, mate, who cares? I could tell you a bunch of rumours right now, but it, it, it's like, unless there's any evidence to back it up, then you know, go swivel like, innit? I thought it was quite interesting as well, the fact that she couldn't show any receipts and also the fact that it was a script basically, for, most, for the most part that she did stick to and, uh, you know, unless she was getting emotional or things of that nature. That makes me think that in terms of when she was stating at the end that she is pursuing everything from a legal standpoint, that holds a bit more weight than, you know, if she just came out and did a bi sister type video where she was just riffing off the top of her head. I feel it's very believable. Do I say that I 100% believe it? I'd say I'm 90% there. I'd say I'm 90% there. Uh, straight afterwards, I jumped onto Twitter just to see what was going on, and obviously all hell was breaking loose. And I was pretty delighted to see Shane Dawson freaking out. I think it's funny that he says that James Charles is the narcissist. Him, to me, is the ultimate narcissist in all of this. Him and Jeffrey, they're both massive narcissists. But him, I think it's, it's a bit more shocking to people because, like I say, he's got those big googly eyes. He's so nice and easy to talk to on all of these different uh, documentaries that he did with the YouTube stars. But, again, it's just like, what does he do with those people like Eugenia Cooney? It just seems like he just takes what he needs and he does away with them, basically. He just them off. I, I don't like to see people getting bullied in general, I, I'll say that, but I don't like seeing people getting away with stuff either. As I've said in my Shane Dawson video, I don't feel sorry for that guy in the slightest. He can 
kiss my ass as far as I'm concerned. I don't I just, I've got no more f to give with that guy, if I'm being honest. I just thought I'd give my opinions on the matter, whether or not those will change over the course of the next coming days or weeks or months. Who knows? But that's my initial reaction off the course of this. Tell me what you think down below. Tell, am I wrong? Do you agree? What's going on? Like, do you have your own theory? It'll be interesting to know, so pop those down in the comments. Leave a like as well. And if you subscribe, that'll be banging. Stay safe out there.